Are you using Vim and VS Code together in the right way for you? That's a question I wanna answer in this video. For this November series, November. <laughs> What's up? I'm Chantastic, and I want to help you learn how to use Vim. I was a Vim main for two years, and it sucked. Vim doesn't have a package manager. Vim script is a joke, and being able to run your editor inside of a terminal is awesome, but having to, not so great. The thing that kept me in Vim for so long wasn't the fact that I didn't know how to exit. It was the fact that I was so incredibly productive moving code around with Vim Motion. And fortunately, a lot of modern editors have really good Vim extensions. The Vim extension for VS Code is one of them. And VS Code is kind of this amazing product where it's a desktop app, but then it can be run inside of a browser. So today, I just wanna make sure that you're using the right Vim extension, have a couple options configured for learning, and can identify a couple of the changes to UI that you will need to know in order to be productive. Let's get into it. So here I have VS Code open to a random project. Hit Command Shift X to open up the extension sidebar and type Vim. The Vim emulator you want is from VS Code Vim and has a obscene amount of downloads. Hit Install and you don't need to reload this one. So we can just go right into opening up a file. I'll open up this uh, tiny avatar component. And right away we'll notice two things. We notice that the cursor is now a block cursor. Uh, the regular one looks something like this, just a tiny little line. And uh, we get this block in Vim. We also have this addition to the status bar where we can see which mode we're in. The idea behind normal mode is, is that every key on your keyboard becomes some kind of motion or macro or action that you can activate. I have other videos that cover those actions in depth, links in the cards. Today, I just wanna show you how to get set up. So by default, you're gonna be in this normal mode. If we open up our settings and type vim insert, uh, go to our extensions, vim, we should just see an option here that says start in insert mode. Now, this is a really cool option if you want to kind of test the waters because what Vim calls insert mode is what every other editor that you've ever used in your entire life calls normal mode or just doesn't call it anything at all because there is no other mode. So by enabling this start in insert mode option, you keep VS Code working exactly like it did before, but now with some extra utilities. So let's close these up again. Open our avatar file once again. We'll see that we have the insert mode and we see that we're in insert mode in the status bar. However, we can get out of insert mode by hitting escape. Now we're on normal mode and we can get back into it by hitting I for insert. That's it for this first day of November. I just wanna make sure that you have an environment that you feel comfortable in exploring some of the Vim concepts that I'll cover the rest of this month. Now, if you wanna jump ahead and learn what every letter on your keyboard does in normal mode, I have a playlist that covers those alphabetically one by one. Of course, if you just wanna learn how to get in and out of insert mode, then I suggest this video here. That's gonna be it for me. I will see you in the next one, bye.